Hey guys, this is Nicholas. Today we're gonna do our first battery drain test on my brand new GoPro Hero 10. So I just fully charged the battery to 100% and used the default resolution setting which is 4K at 30 frames per second, which is also my go-to setting for most of my YouTube videos. In this video, we'll find out how long the battery can last with a full charge in this setting for continuous video shooting. We'll also find out whether there's any overheating issue with the camera, which usually triggers an automatic shutdown of the camera. I sped up this video 8 times compared to its normal speed so that you don't have to watch it for the entire hour. As mentioned in my previous videos, I had a GoPro Hero 8 2 years ago. I did similar battery drain tests and found out that the GoPro Hero 8 shut down by itself so many times due to overheating and at the end I decided to return it for good. You can find that video on the link from your upper right or at the end of this video. Two years have passed since then. So my hope is that GoPro has figured out a way to fix it. We'll find out the truth from this video. I bought my GoPro with my own hard-earned money. And I don't have a sugar daddy to give me a free GoPro to do a review video and give 10 thumbs up to it. In other words, you can trust my unbiased and honest opinions. I will never bend down to let the sugar daddies to do whatever they want with my ass. I pissed off quite a lot of people in my previous review videos for being too honest. Some people just cannot bear the truth. To them, it's like an insult to their penis size. They took it so personal that they did a rampage on this small YouTube channel. Anyways, back to the battery drain test. I keep the touch screen of my GoPro Hero 10 off in order to conserve battery life and also reduce the chance of the GoPro camera being overheated. But we'll turn it back on every 15 minutes to see where we are at in terms of the battery percentage. 15 minutes into the test, the battery is at 80%. That means we lost 20% of battery life in 15 minutes, which translates into roughly 1.3% of battery life per minute. So if things go smoothly, we can expect that a full charge can last more than one hour of continuous shooting at 4K resolution and 30 frames per second. This resolution setting is my baseline. If GoPro passed this battery drain test without any fatal issues, then we can pump up the resolution settings in subsequent battery drain test videos. For the GoPro Hero 10, the highest resolution setting we can go with is 5.3K at 60 frames per second or 4K at 120 frames per second. That means you can take a 4K video and turn it into a slow motion, which is super exciting especially if you are shooting fast moving objects. The reason that the GoPro 10 is able to do that is because it comes with a brand new GP2 processor which has twice the processing power compared to the previous generation. This is the first time that GoPro updated its processor since the GoPro Hero 6 and probably the only reason for those who want to upgrade from the GoPro Hero 9 to the GoPro Hero 10. If you have the GoPro Hero 9, I would say don't waste your money upgrading to the GoPro Hero 10 unless you are crazy about the 5.3K resolution at 60 frames per second. Otherwise, it's better off to hold off for one more year to see whether there's any breakthroughs in the GoPro Hero 11 next year. For those who have a GoPro Hero 8 or prior and use it more often than you use your cell phone camera, then it's definitely worth considering upgrading to the GoPro Hero 10 this year. Alright, we're at 30 minutes into the battery drain test. Right now the battery is at 59% which means we are still pretty consistent of losing roughly 1.3% of battery life every minute. So far so good. If this trend continues and if we don't encounter any unexpected critical issues, we can expect the battery will die at around 1 hour and 10 minutes. Right down inside the GoPro Hero 10, 
I put in the 32GB SD card that comes with the GoPro Hero 10 Plus Accessories Bundle. The bundle is selling for $660 before tax, but you can save $210 by adding one year of GoPro subscription. That effectively brings down the price of the bundle to $450 before tax. To me, it's a pretty good deal except that GoPro being a cheap ass. By including a SD card that only has 32GB. Anyways, for a 32GB SD card, it can still store a 4K video at 30 frames per second, up to 1 hour and 18 minutes. That means, in this battery test, the SD card is most likely not going to be the constraint because the battery is most likely gonna die before the SD card is full. But of course, if we're gonna test higher resolutions, say 5.3K at 60 frames per second, or 4K at 120 frames per second, then this pathetic SD card will become the bottleneck. I need to get one with bigger storage capacity for sure, maybe 128GB. Oh by the way, the tripod that you see in this video also comes with the bundle. GoPro call it the shorty. And the bundle also comes with a spare battery. That means you have two batteries instead of one. Alright, 45 minutes into the test, the battery only has 36% left. And the battery icon has turned from green to yellow. So we lost 64% of battery life in 45 minutes, which is roughly 1.4% per minute. So far we still haven't had any overheating issue with the camera yet, which is a very good sign. I hope this can last until the battery dies. That means GoPro finally figured out a way to fix the overheating issue that I had 2 years ago, which made me return the GoPro Hero 8 to Best Buy. Oh wait, damn, at 49 minutes and 43 seconds into the test, the GoPro shut down by itself for the first time. Let's turn it back on and continue the battery drain test. The automatic shutdown is meant to protect the GoPro camera from being overcooked by the heat generated from the battery. I'm not sure whether there's a way to override that setting. Even there's a way to do that is probably not recommended and most likely will void your warranty of the GoPro Hero 10. And I'm pretty sure this will be a deal breaker for some people, especially those who need to shoot continuous videos more than one hour. Most smartphones these days can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second continuously for 2-3 to three hours without any issue. Having a camera that will shut down automatically without any prior warning when the action is getting steamy is the very last thing you want from your camera. God damn it, it happens again. At 56 minutes and 22 seconds into our battery drain test, the GoPro camera shut down for the second time due to overheat. This is pretty consistent with the GoPro Hero 8 that I had 2 years ago. Some people may argue that Come on, when you get an action camera, you don't do continuous shooting for more than an hour. My question is, why not? When I go hiking, I always hike more than an hour. So do I have to stop in the middle of the trail just to let the camera cool down? It makes no sense. This is supposed to be the king of action camera. Alright, we have another issue here. This time it's not overheating, but the camera just stopped recording by itself. So I had to manually start the recording again. The GoPro Hero 10 camera didn't even provide an explanation why it happened. One hour into the battery drain test, we still have about 13% of battery life left. However, at this moment, the constraint is no longer the battery life. The constraint is the overheating of the battery, which resulted in automatic shutdown of the camera and probably automatic pausing of the video recording, which are the fatal issues that I mentioned earlier in the video. Alright, at 1 hour 4 minutes and 15 seconds into the battery drain test, the GoPro camera shut down by itself for the third time with a warning message, camera is too hot. Right now, the battery only has 3% left. The camera shut down by itself again at 1 hour 4 minutes and 56 seconds into the battery drain test. This time not because of overheating but because of battery life. 
when your cell phone battery drops to 1%, it probably can last for at least another half an hour, but not for GoPro. GoPro will continue to shut down your camera when your battery life drops to below 3%. Right now, the battery life of the GoPro camera only has 1%. I'm trying to beat the horse to death here by keep turning the GoPro camera back on wherever it's shut down by itself. But every recording cannot last more than 8 seconds before it's shut down again. So it is fair to say that when the battery drops to 3%, it is considered dead. So to wrap it up, the GoPro battery can last slightly over 1 hour with a full charge if there were no overheating issues of the camera. Unfortunately, it happened not only once but 3 times. 2 years have passed and I still got the same issue that I had with my GoPro Hero 8. This is beyond frustrating considering that the GoPro camera cost more than $500 and it is supposed to be the king of action cameras. What kind of king will just shut down when things get overheated? So I'm still on the fence whether I should just return it, or I'll just keep it and use it for non-continuous video shooting. After all, I don't really have a camera that can shoot 4K at 120 frames per second yet. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if there are any other tests that you want me to do with the GoPro Hero 10, just let me know in the comment section below as well. For those who are new here and if you enjoy these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are getting any value from this video, even just a tiny little bit, I would greatly appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up below. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your support as always. Please stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye for now.